We'll keep him under until it wears off. I'm sorry if I seem tied to detail, but why did you call me? Before he left, he mentioned to me that you were the only person he trusted. Disturbing. Although, I am highly trustworthy. Where are the children? Barbara's run-in with the Joker, resulting in her paralysis, was difficult for him. She now gathers intel for us as the Oracle from that godforsaken chair. He and Master Grayson remained very close after that, until... When Tim Drake was killed, it split them apart. I think Dick Grayson truly saw how easily he could have lost his life as a child, and suddenly found their relationship detestable. As Nightwing, he patrols the south side of Gotham, leaving the rest of the city to Master Bruce. They rarely speak. I actually think he prefers it this way. Logical. I'm just thankful that he's home, and actually asleep. He doesn't sleep. Rarely. And when he does, he wears those horrid headphones, constantly tuned in to the police radio. He even slumbers to the sound of Gotham's woes. That doesn't sound healthy. But who am I to talk? On the contrary, and this is the worst part, I've never seen him more efficient. Astonishing. The man actually thrives on solitude and self-torment. On that we are alike. My best friend is a mason, John. I wonder what's worse, the toxin or his dreams. Oh, I've known that for years. It's his dreams. Giving me a life, I will give you two. For I am generous. Bruce. Father. Bruce. I'm very disappointed in you. Why have you shamed our family name? I... I don't understand. What waste! All we have given you. If we had lived to see you this way, we'd have thrown you into that asylum as a child. <laughs> Your father and I are glad that we died. I thought this is what you wanted. <laughs> you thought that as a child. As a child. We expected you to grow into a man. You've earned nothing for yourself. I spent my life building the city and wealth for you. And you've done nothing but bring shame upon my name. Not your name. Mine. Take my name off that building. Seems even the dead wish to be liberated from you. I'm so tired of this. Alfred. 
If it's not too much trouble, sir, I'd like to be released from my obligations to you. Alfred, why? You see, I have spent what can be considered the rest of my youth being abused by you. The point of my existence has been to raise the devil, and at death's door, I find myself wanting to stand there alone, free of your darkness. When you don't sleep, I don't sleep. What a selfish little boy you've stayed. I beg you for this courtesy. Please, Master Bruce. Of course, Alfred. I'm sorry. Well, I suppose one more slave's errand won't hurt. I'm Jack. What's your name? Freedom. No! Ooh, nice place you got here, Bats. Your own little cave of horrors. I have a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot of me in here. <laughs> just now coming out of it. Good. Now you can watch. That's it, my little pussycat. Please enjoy some warm milk. Uh, I, I don't have a joint! Even more like Alice. Younger. Barbara. Batman! I'm pregnant. I got it! <laughs> Who'd have figured me to be pro choice? <laughs> Guess that's one baby you won't get to stick in some tights. What have you done? <gasps> Did you drag my daughter into your nightmare? Jim, I... She can't walk now. You made her a target for every psycho in this city, and now she can't defend herself. What happens when I die? Are you going to wipe her ass? Place a cape over her and put weapons on her wheelchair, you son of a bitch! I'll stay away. No. She still wants nothing more than to waste what's left of her life helping you. If I told her to live free of you, she'd never speak to me again. Damn you. Just damn you! At least she is still alive. I have fought with you many times. Some of those times you stood in the way of my revenge. Other times you stood between me and my efforts to rescue my mother. I thought you were a hero who merely stood in my way. I was wrong. You are worse than me. You let the wicked live and the innocent I thought I was the only one whose heart was frozen beyond repair. I was wrong. When it comes time for the salvation of good or evil, which do you really choose? I'm here for you, friend. Here. This has always helped me to make that choice. Yeah.
That's what happens to me, too. But you're better now. You've suppressed Two-Face and managed to get some of your life back. Ah, oh, Bruce. It's only a matter of time. We all just need a catalyst. All of us. You were mine before. And somehow, you'll be it again. must be thankful that I escaped you before getting killed like the others. You know the only thing that ever scared me? You. I wonder, what actually scares you? Yes, tell us, Batman. What scares you? I think you owe it to us. If you only had a brain. It's his last failure. He's failed at everything else. Avenging his parents to recruiting kids for me to kill. Is the city safe? No. <laughs> Hell, you made half of us batshit, my boy! They would all be alive today if you had the balloons down below to kill. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. What's black used to be blue and has a penchant for failing me and you. Who lets every hero die and keeps alive the villain? So that now, after this dream, he has a reason for killing.